they don't get to me, it's okay. Like I, I obviously understood that there would be a bit of bitterness around this decision, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, like it's my career and it's, it's my life. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a kid chasing a dream. It's, it's a pretty simple one for me. The, <laughs> the investment that, you know, that was put into me over the last, last few years in Australian cycling, um, I feel like I made a good return on that uh, investment, winning two silver medals and a bronze medal at the Olympic Games for Australia. And everyone's entitled to their opinion. It's, you know, it's up to me whether I want to listen to it or not. And I've obviously chosen not to. It's, um, you know, people, like I said, are entitled to their opinion. So, um, you know, it's a free world and they can they can do and say what they like. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the decision I've made. It basically boils down to, to I guess, being born there. Um, you know, it's I have a strong emotional connection to the UK and, and I have have for a very long time. And when I grew up, I was watching people like Chris Hoy and Jason Kenny win win gold medals at the Olympic Games for GB. And and those sort of memories, you know, really resonate with a kid. And, and it kind of, uh, yeah, I guess, burned itself in my brain and um, has just kind of stuck with me ever since. And obviously moved to Australia when I was nine because of my my father's work. And um, that's where my cycling career kind of began for me. And, um, you know, happened to, to race, race for Australia from, from then on. And uh, yeah, I just looked, looked at the rest of my career and thought if, if this was something that I, I really wanted to do and, and chase my dream, then, then now was, now was the right time. And um, yeah, I just pulled the trigger on it.